Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Niche. My name is Eros and we're currently playing the Queen Bee Challenge and in the last episode our Queen Ying Yang passed away so it is now time to choose a brand new queen and you guys voted down in the comment section below and voted for who you wanted to be the next queen and so many of you voted for Lovely and Jewel and Lovely has won that race. So Lovely is a very interesting creature because she is a sickly creature. She has the common cold because she has double F immunity so she doesn't have the best immunity genes but as long as she breeds with a male who doesn't have any F immunities they should make very healthy children. She does carry Velvet Paw and Lean Body which are both really really good genetics that we want to have for the jungle. Uh, See, so we are going to have a lovely be the next queen. She will have a short reign um, as she will pass away pretty soon so we'll have to choose a new queen but for now queen lovely is going to be the queen and we're going to go ahead and change her to alpha because she is now the queen of this land and this is going to be a little bit tricky uh, we're going to definitely have to be very careful with her and make sure that we don't have any of our creatures stay around her after the turn is done because they might get sick themselves. And so there are two males currently in our tribe that we can breed lovely with to make sure that we won't get any uh, sickly creatures with their immunity genes. So those two creatures are, let's see, Kaku right here who has K and B immunity and also Zango who is about to pass away who has B and D immunity. All the other males possess F immunity, so we might go ahead and play around with them, or we might just breed her with Zango and with Kaku. So Ke since Zango is about to pass away, we're going to go ahead and see if we can bring Zango um, close to the queen so that they can breed together. So we'll go ahead and move you there. And then we're going to go ahead and move a lovely um, over here, and it looks like there is a chance that they have low, fer low fertility, so there's a chance that they won't breed, but she was able to breed, all right, awesome, so she's gonna breed, and <laughs> unfortunately, um, she's not able to move away from Zango right now, so Zango might get sick, but Zango is about to pass away, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so the queen is pregnant right now with her very first child, but she'll have to wait to have her baby in the next turn, so we can go out and get her to a nest. Let's go ahead and have, have Iggy collect the berries that are over here in Diamond can go ahead and collect the berries that are over this way as well. There we go. We do have tons and tons of food, so I might go ahead and send some of our creatures out to kind of go on little scouting missions to see if we can find maybe potentially some new creatures to add to our tribe. Uh, and I do want to move Kaku kind of near our queen as well. You can go ahead and get that mole. There we go. Um, so that she can, or that Kaku and the queen can breed very, very soon. Uh, this is probably going to be the shortest reign that we're going to have on a queen for this challenge, or maybe we'll have another sickly creature, who knows. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I am aware that she's sickly, but I feel like she'll be able to make some pretty good babies. And I'm excited to see if we are able to get any creatures that will be very good for the jungle islands, which is what we're trying to do, to make some creatures who are able to live very well in the jungle. Yeah, let's go ahead and move Jewel, who almost became the queen. She might still become queen, because she'll probably live past uh, Loverly. Uh, so we'll have to vote on a queen once again. So if you want Jewel to become the next queen, uh, vote for her once we do the next voting system. But who knows, maybe one of Lovely's daughters, um, you guys will want to have a be queen. Make the baby be born. And a little runt was the last born child. Oh my goodness, so cute. So let's go ahead and skip the turn, and it looks like... Uh, yes, the queen is still sick, unfortunately, and she is going to go ahead and, I think, let's see, where is, there's a nest right here that we could move her to, but I think I might just have her pop down her nest right here, and go ahead and collect the berries that are over here, and let's go ahead and collect the berries that are right there, and go ahead and get that grass, and I do want to send, let's see, Kaku. I want him to be close to the queen, but not super duper close, so he gets sick. So we're going to kind of move him right here. And he should be okay and not get sick at all. And then Quinn, we can go ahead and move you to these berries. And then Fang, you can go ahead and help with these berry bushes as well. And so can Pluto. And a little runt. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. He's just so adorable. And it is rainy season right now, so that is pretty nice. And we are going to go ahead and set Gabby and Belle... And we'll probably keep Jewel close. 
Um, but let's go ahead and send Gabby and Val kind of on a little scouting mission to see what they can find out in these grassland areas. And let's go ahead and move Belle a little bit out this way too. Can you get that mole? There we go. We got that mole. Awesome. Holy moly. Guacamole. And let's go ahead and move, I think, Alfred too. We're going to go ahead and start moving him as a part of this little, like, clan of wandering creatures. And maybe even Heart. I think we should. Um, oops. Sorry, Magic. I didn't mean to move you. Um, but I do want to move Heart with the wandering, kind of like the, um explorers um, out this way and they can kind of move over to the grasslands to see if they can find any other creatures and then Julie you can go ahead and collect these berries and why don't we go ahead and I don't know where I want to put you right now maybe move you over here so you can collect those berries and I think that'll be pretty nice and then for Iggy why don't we go ahead and move you kind of by this berry bush so you can go ahead and collect those and for Pluto, we can start moving you out this way so you can get closer to a little bit more food. And I don't really have any more moves for you, so we're just going to leave you there. And let's go ahead and see what the very first child of uh, Queen Loverly is going to be. I'm very excited to see if she's going to have a baby with lean body or velvet paw. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mutation menu to see what we have. We have lean body and velvet paw in there, and then... Um, since this is Zango's child, uh, let's go ahead and see what we're going to have. So let's go ahead and skip the turn. And it looks like we were able to have a female who is healthy, um, who has very, very low fertility. So we'll have to definitely keep that in mind. And she has F and B immunity. So unfortunately, she did not inherit the D immunity from her father. But she's a very beautiful light color. And she was able to get lean body. And she also has double number fingers. Um, so very nice. We're going to go ahead and name her with an S name. Let's go ahead and name her Star right here. Uh, Alright, so that is Zango's last child. And we're going to go ahead and breed, breed Queen Loverly with Kaku right here. And I think we're going to go ahead... This is so difficult because she's such... Um, since we have to make sure that we keep her away from creatures. So I think we're just going to go ahead and pop a nest right there. She'll be the queen of many nests, I think. And then we are going to move her mate over... Let's see the best place. We're going to move her mate over here for now. And he can go ahead and collect the berries, and then we'll probably breed them again. But we just don't want them to stay close to each other while she's still sickly. See, I mean, it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky when you have a sickly creature. It very, very, very much is so. Um, but we're gonna have to work with it and see what we can do. Oh, you know what I forgot? We have some water creatures that I haven't really been moving, which is unfortunate on my part. I kind of forgot we had two water creatures. Yes, we do! Um, out over here. So we have little Nella and Eel, and they are collecting bunnies over this way. So let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and get that bunny. There we go. And there's some fishies right there that we can go ahead and collect. Awesome! So sorry about that, I kind of forgot that they were over there. And then Fang, why don't you go ahead and start moving down to, actually we can take down that nest, and then start moving down to this berry bush maybe? And then Quinn, why don't you come over here a little bit, and Magic, why don't you move kind of by this berry bush tree? And then let's go ahead and start exploring past this little river here, go ahead and collect that food first, move over here, then we'll have you move in the water, and move out here. It looks like there is a mole and there is a nest too. Move in the water, move over this way, and then come over here and move over here too and start collecting up some of this grass that's around here. And we don't want to breed them and then I do want Belle to make it over there too but I'm gonna have her stay because I don't want her to drown in the water at all. And then anyone else that we can kind of move, we can go ahead and move Pluto. Maybe we'll start moving him to become part of the um, adventure expedition to kind of see what else is on this island and if there's anything new that we're missing or any other wandering creatures that we think might be very good to go ahead and join us. Well, let's go ahead and see what the next baby of the queen is going to be and it looks like we had a baby that was born with medium body and a velvet paw and nimble fingers. It does have also very low immunity and we're going to go ahead and give her a T name. So let's go ahead and name her T. We're going to go ahead and name her T. That's so cute. Um, so we have a little T here, and let's go ahead and take a look at the mutation menu in Kaku. So Kaku has medium body and nimble fingers, 
So we definitely want to make sure that we still continue with the lean body and still continue with velvet paw. So let's go ahead and move the queen over here and go ahead and breed with her mate. She was able to get pregnant. And let's just have her pop her nest here. And then we're going to go ahead and move Cuckoo kind of over this way a little bit. And he can go ahead and clock those berries right there. And then little star, go ahead and move out this way a little bit. And Fang, why don't we go ahead and move you over here. There's that mole though. I want the mole. I want the mole. There we go. We got the mole. Very nice. And maybe Runt can come over here and like gather up some of that food right there. Very nice. And let's go ahead and check on our water creatures to see what is going on over here if there's any more bunnies. So we can go ahead and have Eel collect that right away and kind of continue moving along the shore to see if any more bunnies. And then Nella can kind of continue on looking around too. There is like a clam right here that we can go ahead and get in the next turn. So it's so cute how we have these two kind of like working together and collecting up little water bunnies and clams that are on the shore. And let's go ahead and have magic. Go ahead and collect this. And we can have you collect these little nuts from our tree. And then little Iggy can go ahead and collect some berries right here. And then for our adventurer group, little Pluto is going to join the adventurer, so he's going to go ahead and go out this way and see what we can find. It looks like there are tons of moles over here, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get this mole right there. And then what we can do is kind of move you over here. And, ooh, there's a mole over there. There's so many moles! We're going to play whack-a-mole over here. Oh my goodness. And we kind of want to go maybe out the Oh my goodness. So many moles, holy moly, so many different moles out this way, oh my goodness. Alright, so now we know there's tons of moles. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, so we're definitely going to have like a whack-a-mole party um, over this way. Very soon we'll have to move the creatures away to kind of like get away from the moles so we don't really scare them too much. Um, let's go ahead and move you over there and move magic kind of over this way too. I'm kind of a bit concerned that all of Lovely's children are having very low fertility and I'm wondering if I should try to risk it maybe with a different male other than Cuckoo but it looks like all of our males do have pretty low fertility because it would be pretty awful to have a, a creature born so maybe oh, we may have to bring Alfred back I don't know because uh, all the other males have some pretty low fertility and all of her children are having like super duper low fertility and that won't make good for a next queen at all. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and see what the next baby is going to be. And it looks like they had a little male. See that super duper low fertility. At least he was able to get um, lean body and a velvet paw, which is pretty nice. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and name him with a U. U. Uran? Uran, maybe? We're gonna make your names up there. It's a little Uran. Born with a super duper low fertility. Alright. Alfred? Are you the only male born? Alright, we're gonna do for science. Uh, they don't have the best genetics, but Alfred? You're gonna have to come down this way. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Alfred. I'm sorry. Alright, Alfred's gonna take a little bit of damage, unfortunately. And then the queen is going to come as close as she can to Alfred. I'm so sorry. Alfred's going to take damage. I feel so bad. And then we're definitely going to have to move Jewel away from the queen so that she does not catch her sickness. And then magic should be okay. And then we can go ahead and collect all these little nuts that are in here too. Go ahead and collect these berries and also collect these and berries over here too. So much food. So much food. Little tea. I love tea. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Uh, and then we can go ahead and move Cuckoo. He would probably want to still follow his mate, uh, the queen, a little bit. So he'll probably wander out this way a little bit too. And then go ahead and have Opal collect the berries that are over here. And the berries that are right there. And then our wandering expedition. Why don't you go ahead and move away from the moles to see if they'll kind of like pop back up a little bit. And then Belle, you can go ahead and collect the food that's here, collect the berries, and little Pluto, why don't you start moving out this way and collecting up some of the grasses, and let's go ahead and move out this way too, clearing out some more of this area to see what we can find. And let's see, anything else that we can do, we can move magic a little bit closer to this berry bush, and we can go ahead and have you collect these berries right there, and let's see, Fang. 
think you're pretty good. We could move you more towards this berry bush. And Uran is too little to move, and our little water creatures can go ahead and collect the clams that are kind of out in this area right there. Awesome. And let's see, we can go ahead and move you here. And banish, no, no banishing allowed. No banishing. Um, kind of get some fishes. We'll have to move around to see if we can scare some fishies away or make them come closer to us a little bit. But let's go ahead and see if we are able to have um, another baby with Alfred um, in the next turn. So let's go ahead and see how that goes. And Alfred, why don't you go ahead and pop up here? And he's going to pass away. So let's go ahead and have her him breed with the queen. And then the queen, the closest nest is kind of way over there. So you might just have the queen popped out a nest right there. Go ahead and collect the berries that are here. And we can't go ahead and get that mole right now. Let's go ahead and get these. Like a so. And get these berries. And there is a mole over there. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that little guy. To see if we're able to get him anytime soon. And it looks like we might be able to. Let's go ahead and move Iggy here. And go ahead and collect that little guy. And then Star. She can go ahead and start harvesting up some of the berries that are from these berry bushes. And little Uran can go ahead and pop out of the nest for his very first time. And Fang can go ahead and collect some berries that are over here. And then Eel and company, why don't we have you kind of wander around. I'm seeing if there's any fishes that are kind of like pop up. And it doesn't look like there's any at the moment. There's some fish over there. So we can go ahead and chase those fishies down with those guys over that way. And then Opal, you can go ahead and collect these. And collect some berries right there. And let's go ahead and see about moving this way. Magic, oh my goodness, you're a little bit too close to the queen, unfortunately. But hopefully he won't get sick. He probably will get sick. He's probably gonna get sick. See, this is what happens when we have a queen, a sickly queen. Oh, it looks like there is another berry bush this way, which we're not really hurting on food right now. Um, but it's still nice to know that there are more berry bushes to be found and to had. There we go. But let's go ahead and see what the next baby we're going to have. Let's see if we can go ahead and collect a little bit more food first. There we go. And the next baby is going to be... Oh, the queen has passed away. The very last child was a sickly creature who also inherited a little bit higher fertility. But she is sickly, unfortunately, just like her mother, Lovely. So maybe we'll go ahead and name her Lovely the second. Uh, she was able to inherit medium body and velvet paw. Um, so we are looking for a brand new queen. So that was a lovely short, short reign. So let's go ahead and take a look at the females that are able to become queen. So we do have Jewel, who you guys know about. Um, she has F and B immunity. She does have medium body and double nimble fingers. And you guys can go ahead and take a look at the other icons as well. We have Iggy, which you guys have known before, who have who has claw and nimble fingers. Heart, who has double nimble fingers, like so. Gabby, we have Eel, Belle, who has the very beautiful fluffy tail, we have Quinn, we have Opal with claw and velvet paw, we have little Nella, our little, one of our little water creatures, we have T, who is one of the daughters of Queen Lovely, um, who has medium body, nimble fingers, and velvet paw. We have a little star who has lean body but double nimble fingers but super duper low fertility. And then we have lovely the second who has medium body, velvet paw, nimble fingers, and not as low fertility but she is another sickly type of creature just like her mother was before. So just like last episode you guys will be voting for the next queen so make sure you guys like the name I put down in the comment section. I'll be writing down all the names of the females and you guys need to like which female you want to become the next queen. So guys, thank you so much for um, sharing in the queen process with me and helping me pick the next queen for our tribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode of the Queen Bee Challenge. Bye, guys.